here. I'm Nikki Valens, and today I'm going to show you quirky circuits from Plat Hat Games. You and the other players are going to work together in order to control our cute robot friends while we complete their daily tasks, such as cleaning up dust bunnies, planting seeds in a garden, or digging up dinosaur bones. Each player is dealt these command cards that they get to use to control the robot, but there's going to be some problems. First of all, when you hold your hand, the other players can only see the back of those cards, and they can only see if it is a move or a turn, but not what kind of a move or turn it is. Additionally, players cannot communicate with each other as they are placing cards into the queue. So as players are playing down cards, the other players are not entirely sure what that player is planning to do. Before you can resolve these actions that you've programmed in, you must have a completed queue of five cards, and each player must have played at least one card. At that point, you can determine if you want to resolve this queue. So let's do that now. First, the Roomba has moved one space forward, which cleans up this dust bunny here. Then, a player has played a turn right, causing the Roomba to turn. Here, a player has played a backward one, so the Roomba will move backward one. So once the queue is fully resolved, all of these cards will get shuffled, placed on the bottom of the deck, and a new hand of cards will be dealt out to each player. Also, the battery will be reduced by one, noting that there are only so many additional cues before the robot runs out of battery and the players fail the scenario. Quirky Circuits comes with 24 different scenarios where you have to work together with your friends to control the robots in their various daily tasks. Each scenario has its own rule set and poses new challenges to the players. Quirky Circuits is available now, so check your local game store. Abomination is a gothic monster building game where you will be playing a scientist trying to create a companion for Frankenstein's monster, who, yes, is still alive and well in Paris and has gained a lot of wealth to fund this contest. You will be placing your scientists across the city of Paris, collecting materials to build your monster. You will be visiting locations where you can harvest bodies for their parts, blood and bones, such as the cemetery. You can go here to gain, well, it's a lot of bone because of the cemetery. They're old cadavers, so it's mostly bone there. You could also choose to hire a scoundrel to do your dirty work for you. Or if you prefer to do the dirty deed yourself, you can go to the dark alley and just straight up murder somebody. And that will give you the freshest body parts. You're gonna want fresh body parts because that matters in how many victory points you're going to score. You're going to create your monster twice. The first time, you'll be starting your body part by creating the muscles, and then you will have to complete it and add the tissue. If murdering is not your thing, you can always visit the church to atone for your sins and grab some humanity. And humanity is worth victory points at the end, and that's what it's all about, gaining victory points. During the lab phase, you will retreat back to the lab to create your monster and, of course, try to shock it to life. You will need a charged Leyden jar in order to do this, and then you will roll the shock dice in order to bring them to life. The game ends when somebody has either brought their entire monster to life or if Captain Walton reaches the end of the story track. You can also help Captain Walton advance faster on the story track through some events that will come up during the game. It doesn't matter if you're the first person to bring your monster to life, it's whoever has the most victory points at the end of the game will win. Abomination the Air of Frankenstein is available at a game store near you.